All right, this is a daily chart and the bank nifty now can see yesterday they form a doji pattern and yesterday we was looking for buy above 22,400 almost somewhere here that was a raise 10 line so finally we have seen price just broke this raise 10 line and continue toward the upside but but price not able to sustain above this level again drop back all right now question is that can i go for short here uh because uh this is uh very spin bar all right or uh, you can say inverted hammer so one thing always remember in my course i already uh, explained that uh candlestick pattern should be appear in a right place now question is that uh, this is a bearish spin bar uh, and uh, right now here you can see a uh, support are there here you can see this line is uh, support and this pin bar forming above this support like support somewhere here and now pin bar are forming somewhere here now do you think this is a valid pin bar what is the rule of pin bar or candlestick pattern the rule is that the candlestick pattern should appear in a right place in a right direction now if you gonna see the direction is a uptrend okay and this pin bar are appearing above this resistance but i'm not considering this is a valid pin bar but remember we never know i'll go for buy after breaking this level with the level 22400 why because this is a uh, i can say previous they form as a resistant bout but here you can uh, right now you can see they act as a supporting line so that is why i am looking for short after breaking this level of 22400 not now remember price is right now running above 22750 right 300 point above that most of the people are looking for short by using this candlestick pattern but don't do that mistake now see in a small time frame like uh, h1 chart in h1 chart price is running in uptrend and they are bouncing off moving average 20. so here you can see according to the price action method they are creating higher high and higher low higher high and higher low and bouncing off moving average 20 create a new high retrace back bounce of moving average 20 create a new high and a retrace and we are expecting price will bounce from this area okay so in that case we will apply um, bounce back trading strategy this is the most uh, my favorite trading strategy so we are applying various indicator to confirm our buy signal so who people will already following me or they purchased by my technical course uh, i think they comes no no all right <clears throat> okay now let's see in a small time frame how does it look like that okay so that is why i drawn a horizontal line now most of the people are confusing asking me sir here is the 20 moving average why i'm not drawing in this level why i draw just a little more below so if you want to see previous market behavior right just uh given a false breakout have you seen it here is 20 moving average and price just drop down a little more below somewhere here i can see 20 moving average somewhere here and price drop a little more you can say a uh, false breakout and uh, similarly here we have seen there is a 20 moving average maybe price give a false breakout okay so that is why i drawn and i connect this most recent swing point that is why i drawn as a supporting line and i'm looking for buy above this level but not now okay not now so i'm looking for a pullback or retracement toward this level okay so wait. now see in a small time frame how does it look like that jump to 15 minutes yeah yeah, 15 minutes you can see price are bouncing up moving average 100 this one 100 exponential moving average 
right so retrace and bounce from 20 uh, 100 so we are expecting gradual retrace and it will bounce from this area now question is that can i go for a buy here or can i go for some sort so i'm not looking for sell right now i'm looking for sell after breaking this level okay and now for buy uh, here we can see two scenario are there one is 20 moving averages somewhere here and another here so means i'm looking for buy after breaking this level let me draw another uh, and say horizontal line by connecting 20 moving average here yeah, this one 20 moving average. let's jump to 15 5 minute chart and i can see here um, this is a 5 minute chart and our entry point will be somewhere here for buy after giving a correction to this level and we will apply uh, bouncing trading strategy or whatever uh, we will apply various indicator to enter in this market or another here you can see i'm looking for a breakout this area so once they break i'll buy or once they retrace and confirm any buy signal i'll buy here but in between these range i'm not looking for entering this market. all right so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching